welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're doing um the budget closeout for the third week of september and opening up the fourth week so before we start a little catch up so i did arrive from my trip back home yesterday and i got sick already on a trip but yesterday i did a covid test so i have covid yay i haven't had covid at all like when it was an outbreak i didn't have it so this is the first time in my life i'm having it my nose is like clogged so if i talk weirdly that's because that happened my throat also kind of hurts but uh yeah i had to cancel all of my plans this weekend i had a fully booked weekend but unfortunately my health is a priority so i have a full fully empty weekend where i can edit my travel log which I'm gonna hopefully post sometime next week and also film these videos for you guys also I have to clean my apartment and stuff like that so kind of it all worked out but hopefully I feel better soon if any of you are sick currently too my heart goes out to you and wishing you a speedy recovery but here we are I still haven't calculated all of the expenses for the travel but today we have a part of it uh but yes my trip went okay the weather was actually way worse than we expected with my friend so that was not cool i also wasn't feeling the best because unfortunately my friend had a little tragedy happen right before we left so the trip was kind of like i was what didn't want to film that much didn't want to put the camera in her face and all of that so maybe the travel log is not as exciting as the other was were but still i hope you're gonna enjoy it uh but yes let's start with the expenses for the week and then we're gonna move on to the budget setup so we spent 37.68 for groceries 19.59 for spending 48.13 in dine out 54.60 for miscellaneous and 223 47 in travel so the miscellaneous charge was a tax kind of recalculation so they recalculated my taxes for last year and i still owed them some money so that i took it out of the miscellaneous also because my uh, nose is clogged i can't really breathe that deep so if i feel like i'm out of breath that's because just like i'm literally dying <laughs> but uh, yeah that's just in case you were wondering why i'm la not laughing Oh, I'm breathing that funny but now I understand what they mean about the shortness of breath during COVID so it's like you're doing constant cardio okay sorry my ADHD is on full blast today so the total expenses for this week was 383 euros and 47 cents perfect so let's flip through the weekly budget and let's update that we had a budget of 500 euros to work with that's what we had and groceries has a rollover of let's see we have 10 11 and 12 so that's 50 minus 12 we spend 38 spending doesn't have any rollover so we spend 20 there and dine out has a rollover of one and two so that means we spent 48 here Five went into gas, 75 into rent, and 50 in utilities. And we put five in miscellaneous, but we're also going to add this in miscellaneous, the rollover, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 euros. So in total, that's 19. Let me flip to miscellaneous and add that. So hope you're all guys doing well fall it has officially started so 240 we should have in miscellaneous now 220 30 31 2 3 4 and 5 no what oh sorry we are adding 14 sorry no messed up the 5 we already added so 221 plus 14 235 indeed 235 so 220 31 2 3 4 and 5 yes correct 235 so as i was saying fall has officially started and i love fall as long as it's not raining but unfortunately usually it does rain so yeah i don't mind the cooler weather it's just the rain that i'm not particularly fond of but still rain has a place to be in the ecosystem so we have to learn to appreciate it too so that was 255 in uh, cash envelopes and bills. So we have 245 left to work with. 
we're bringing that up here i'm gonna move the cash tray a little bit so we put to 20 in beauty 30 in christmas 10 in clothing 20 in health 5 in holidays and 50 in travel so in total for short-term sinking funds that was 135 so 245 minus 135 is 110 long-term sinking funds we put five into babies and five into car 25 in deposit nothing in emergency because that's fully funded and then we put a five in each pets retirement technology and weddings so that was in total 55 and 110 minus 55 is indeed 55 and we put all of that into our savings challenges so we closed out week three with zero euros, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget, which is what we want to have. Perfect. So we are starting week four. We're setting up the budget. So our paycheck is um, 540, but then we have some extra income, which I got from a translation I do, which was 55 euros. So in total... 540 plus 55 is 595 one of the higher weeks we've had so 595 to work with and we are gonna put um, 50 into groceries 20 into spending and 50 in dine out we're gonna put five into gas 75 into rent 15 utilities and 10 miscellaneous so let's see in bills and cash envelopes we have going 260 euros in there so 595 minus 260 we have 335 left to budget are you in frame i hope you are 335 perfect so next short-term sinking funds 30 is going into beauty a birthday is fully funded for the year. So 30 is going into Christmas, 20 into clothing. We're going to put 30 into health, 5 in holidays. Subscriptions is going to get a 10 and travel a 50. So in total, 30 plus 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus 5 plus 10 plus 50 is 175. So 335 minus 175, we have 160 left. We're bringing that 160 to long-term sinking funds and we're going to put five in babies, five in car. We're going to put 25 in deposit, five in pets, five in retirement and five in technology and weddings each. So in total, that's going to be 55 euros. So 160 minus 55 is 105 and all of that is going to go into our savings challenges because that's one of the higher amounts we've put there but it's going to be an exciting uh, stuffing for sure. So I'm going to be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck just that we just set up. And then as I mentioned next week, I'll probably upload the travel log. I still need to wait for some expenses to be um, taken from my account and I still need to edit the vlog. So yeah, that's coming soon. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. I'm going to go back probably to bed and enjoy some Emily in Paris on Netflix. I love that show. But yes, I hope you're having an amazing weekend. I hope once again, your health is also very good. And I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.